Bots, more than meets the eye. Autobots leads their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at the 1987 Terracon Cutthroat. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes, help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at him combined to form part of Abominus, and as I'm lucky enough to have a type of packaging, we can have a look at the fantastic artwork and the battle scene on the back of that. Okay then, let's get started. So, here he is in his robot mode. As I've said, his name is Cutthroat, and he is one of five Terracons that combined to form Abominus. They were released in 1987, so it was a year after the main Scramble City robots. However, this still is classed as a Scramble City robot, and that is because with the use of his head there, whether it's upright like so, he can be any one of the legs, which you can see there, or with the ability of um, bringing it back that way, nice and careful, you could now, if you wanted to, you could attach it into the shoulder joint and it could also be an arm. So very versatile. And of course, if you're a kid, hours and hours of playtime with it. Right. So again, here he is in robot mode um, because it is such a small robot. And again, because the main gimmick was just the two, the combining, the articulation is minimal. You've got a bit of movement there, though, in the arms and in the shoulders. The legs are completely fused together. They do slide up and down at the waist, but that is mainly just for the transformation process. Um, and you can see a lot of his um, alternate mode kibble there in the back of him as well. Before we look at the alternate mode, this is the weapon that he comes with. And this does actually move there. It pivots on that particular point. And the main reason for that to pivot there is for the alternate mode, which we we're going to have a look at right now. So, okay, the alternate mode is also known as a hawk. Um, and you can see there, there's the tail that is, of course, the gun. Um, the wings can bend backwards and forwards, as you can see. So there's probably a bit more articulation in his alternate mode, in honesty. And, of course, the legs there as well. So you can see why you need his... Well, you don't actually. It'll balance without it. But it looks quite bare without the weapon in his alternate mode. Um... These both have the rub sign indents, but there is a variant without that indentation there. Um, even the head tilts and the neck moves backwards and forwards as well. It's quite a good alternate mode, to be fair. The Terracons were, again, very, very original. I like the fact that they used monsters and creatures and stuff for the Decepticons, and it just seemed to really work. Things that you need to be aware of with these is that the screws, as you can see in there, tend to get quite corroded. Um, and because, and maybe in there as well, on these particular joints, these can, I've had a few in the past where these just pretty much don't even move. They're just so fused together, but these ones aren't too bad. Uh, again, they are very, very basic figures um, because the main gimmick is for the combining form. So here is, oh, and you can see the other thing to be aware of there. See that? See how loose that sometimes the legs can be? So if you wanted to display him in robot mode, he would struggle because he'd keep popping down. This is Abominus, though, and as I've just mentioned, this is what's known, really, as a Scramble City Combiner, for the reasons I've just said, even though it was a year later. Um, so, yeah, he looks really, really good like that. What we're going to do, we're going to have a look at some of the packaging then. Um, I haven't got any of the Hasbro packaging. I've got the Japanese Takara one. So this one, you can see its reference number is D82. D stood for Destrons, which meant Decepticons. And there, of course, again, is another reference to Scramble City. This was a cartoon that was being aired in Japan at the time. And you've got it on a couple of places in the box. Um, this is actually unused content. So I'm going to show you something inside in a second. We've got a brilliant, brilliant battle scene there. Um, this is the 86 battle scene, though. Although this was released in 1987... Um, around the time of the Headmasters. This is the 86 battle scene, purely again because it's down to the Scramble City. There are the tech specs, and if we open this up nice and carefully, I'll just show you some of the things that come with it. Um, it's also, even though it's in polystyrene, it's still got the sellotaped bit on the top of it, so that means that that's pretty much never been taken out of there, which is brilliant. Um, and then the brilliant thing as well that the Japanese did, their figures came with collector's cards like this. 
So you can see there it says Destron, Cutthroat, and then we've got the unused sticker sheet hidden in the back as well. Now the reason why there's two boxes is again, I suppose, just something to be aware of. Um, I don't know if it was a dubious seller or anything when I brought the one below it, but from the front picture, you can tell that there's a bit a bit of sun fade, which, which there is. You can just about make it out. You can really make it out with the other one, but in the picture, it wasn't that bad until you turn it around. And there, there is some really, really bad sun fade. So that's just something to be aware of for yourselves. You know, if you are buying a boxed figure, you really do want to see all sides of the box for that particular reason. But there we go, quite a nice little figure. It serves its purpose, displays really well, good color scheme. And again, liking the fact that the Decepticons used monsters as, as lots of their alternate modes and especially more so with this. So there we go guys, that was the 1987 Series 4. He's a Decepticon, he's one of five Terracons and they all make Abominus. Thanks for watching guys, please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.